D8 at LRC's Bomakulu is the day of Durga Ashtami, as the name suggests. It's the eighth day and it's in prayer of Lordess Durga. I'm not going too much into why Durga Ashtami, how Durga Ashtami was. Enough and more of it in Google. But we all know that West Bengal reaches its height of uh, celebrations on Ashtami. And the Bengalis celebrate Ashtami as the most important days at the Dasera festival. Here at my Golu, I'm celebrating music in the center. We have a set of turbaned, seemingly Rajasthani musicians or farmers actually, with various tools in their hand dealing with farming. And then we have a typical classical Karnatak music singing style of musicians. The tambura, <coughs> there's a people sitting to listen, there's the singer, there's a mridangam, there's the kanjira, the harmonium, the tambura, etc. We come down, these are all the North Indian formats of folk music. This is a very popular kind of toys you get all over the place, made of porcelain and a lovely colorful finish, typical of Rajasthan. At the next row, again very colorful toys, very slim at one end and then you have made out of wood. The wooden ones, if you notice, one are the standing pose. They are of a larger size. You have three people sitting. And then in the last row, again, in different colors, Rajasthani musicians in made of wood and made of porcelain at the back. And if you notice the Rajasthani ones, there are two sets. One of a larger size and one of a smaller size. Not seated in the same order, but six each. The next set are a lot of animals in beds, all in pairs, and made of glass, porcelain. Little kids, if somebody is watching them, you could ask them to sit and identify the birds and animals here. I'm not going to tell you there are swans and ducks and parrots and sparrows. Different kinds, different colors, different sizes. All caged as they look in a small uh, book almara that is uh, doubling up today at the Bomalokolu for the animals being stationed. Then we have the cow. We have some other animals on the other side, the cats and the dogs, of which uh, Datu will give you a frontline image in a short while. The cow and the calf. For those uh, who remember history of uh, Indian Congress, may remember a long time when the cow and the calf was suspect was the political symbol of the All India National Congress, but this has nothing to do with the party. Above, if you see, uh, there are four, again, colorful Rajasthani couples, one dressed in green and the other in red. And then there's this extremely cute looking Buddha prayer with a serene Gautama Buddha in the center and four little cute toys in the front. In the background, and I'm sure Datu will take you through there, is a whole set of what are called Russian dolls. The Russian dolls are in different size, the same design. And if you go from the biggest to the smallest, it is known that the smallest will fit into this, this in this, this into this, this will go into this, this will go into this, and this finally goes into that box. It has a lid into which all of them will go and then it gets shut like this. 
So it's called the Russian doll. I don't know where and why the name came around. We had different kinds of Russian dolls. They are missing right now. Maybe another search sometime at home will get it. The next and the last for the day are two nice toys, uh, dolls of two Rajasthani musicians again. One playing the harmonium and the other playing the dhol or the dholak. And we have a nice chess board here and some remains of old kinds of uh, cameras and an old CD player. So I'll sign off for day eight and take you to the penultimate uh, segment of Navratri of the ninth day in hoping that all of you will come and see it also 